That's why we need to walk just a little more. The place was empty. Keep those thugs away from my family. Denuvia! Get these spotters out of my house now! Arthur, sweetheart, you paid me and my boys to be caravan guards, not cattle wranglers. If you want us to get our hands dirty, it'd be our pleasure. But that'll be extra. I don't see why I should be explaining myself. It's my property. They are on it, unlawfully. Look, we needed somewhere to live. This place was empty and it had walls. I've got children for tears' sake. Well, I... That's all very sad, but, but I still don't see how... It gets cold out there at night, Mr. Gregorio. My kids will get sick. Please, we'll stay out of your way. We just need a roof. This is my home. I may pride myself on my philanthropy, but I draw the line at being a halfway house. Look, time is money, and I'm losing both just standing here. Make your call, judge, before Zenovia makes it for you. They can stay. Just don't blame me when they turn on you like the mongrels they are. I respect your hustle, sweetheart, but it won't work on me. You've stepped on the guild's toes, and we'd like a little something to make it better. The guild? A loose coalition unifying every criminal outfit in the city under one collective rule, from cut purses to contract killers. I'd say you'll live to regret it, but honestly, I'm not so sure you'd live. Serious. Let's forget this unpleasantness ever happened. Come on, boys. We've got places to be. What in the hells was that? Never felt an earthquake in Baldur's Gate before. What the hells? What's the rush, sir? Can't we stay here for a bit? The absolute army on its way. Not a charge. What's the harm in one of the new show? Bloody the dog! She's wanting me to sell it. Really? It helps work for you, too. Give them a piece of your mind and pieces of your body to be washing up in Grey Harbor tomorrow. <sighs> Bastards. Still means dead! Read the laws over there! 
Priests will open the temple up again. You will see. They're good people, holy people. Bet you won't get kicked out of the temple. They blame us for everything. If you're looking for Il Martyr's charity, you're out of luck. They've turned their backs on us, like everyone else. Crying one weeps today. Our father Logan is dead. Murdered. I... I don't want to talk. My heart is in mourning. Lord Gortash, refugees are no longer allowed in the city. Turn around. Well, do you have the means to support yourself? Article 30.1.5 of the Council's decree on extraordinary wartime measures. I am confiscating that. The city thanks you for your contribution. Your name? I'm doing the questioning here. Last time. Name? Well met, citizen. Your parasite stares. From the construct, you feel connection, resonance. I am a steel watcher, citizen. Here to serve the people of Baldur's Gate in the name of Lord Enver Gortash. State your business. Aha, uh -huh. eyes open, body still. the watcher's gaze a presence awakens you are seen you are known whoa my engine it's almost i don't know buzzing like it's paying attention your party's prior transgressions are reflected in its stare as witnessed by the cult's ever alert, scrying eyes. It has heard the howls of slaughtered goblins. It has seen the deep shadows of Grimforge and the stone floors left bloodied. It knows the cold walls of Moonrise Towers and the cultists who fell there 
the Watcher speaks directly into your mind with a voice like poisoned honey. You are marked for special treatment. Not simply an enemy of the people, but an enemy of the Absolute. Come quietly, or die. Your peaceful surrender has been noted. You will be transferred to Worms Rock Prison, where you will await further sentencing. Eat this, you pile of junk! I won't say it. Take oh, heed. God damn it all! Recovery Fight is imminent. Little bastards, or I'll have your head! A bird. Danthalon's dancing axe. The harper's safe house to him. Butter! Oh, honey! Yes, we should stock up. Another quick! What's going on? It's the Elder Brain. There's something.
very leather like. You can get in one's porcelain. How long do the effects last? It depends on the person. Even if you had, what if the nine hells would you do with it? Think a little. Yeah. You must hear me, devil. I will do whatever it takes, give you anything you ask. There is only one thing in this world that I desire. You do not have it, and you never will. The Kithrak? What deal would he make with this devil? You must help me, Raphael, for the sake of my people. Hush now, Vos. These guests may not know it yet, but they want the same thing that you do. And unlike you, they have something of value to offer in return. Lazel, Talak Magir. The devil holds the key to freeing the Gith people. Right here, right now. You could seal our fate. Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room, once you're loosed from his claws. I'm glad you came. Not to my door, not yet, but to the final reckoning. One more thing before we begin, though. For the first time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's unsettling. <laughs> Wouldn't that be exquisite? But no. I'm afraid the tadpole is still there. But I did shut out your other visitor for a while so we can enjoy some privacy. The Illithid can't hear us. Huh. What's the catch? I brought you here because I'm true to my word, and I can make all of this tadpole business go away. Which means you and your lovely friends can remain blessedly free of tentacles. Unless some have already sprouted in places I can't see. Let us speak plain. I'll admit, you've impressed me. I wasn't sure you'd make it this far. But no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. A road that leads directly to a confrontation with the Elder Brain. At best, it will kill you and everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. You have the key to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. In a manner of speaking, but it's the one inside the prison that you need, not the Illithid, the Gith. I can give you the means to break him free. Speak, devil. We're listening.
the Orphic Hammer. An artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus is held securely in my House of Hope, even now. Good and truth rarely go hand in hand, but in this case, they are happy bedfellows, and we can be too. I swear to you, I have the solution to your problem. Isn't it just? And it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what I want in return. There it is. Of course. Power. You free Orpheus, and in doing so, save the city, the Sword Coast, perhaps the whole world, and your own precious skin, too. And you give me the crown that dominates the Elder Brain. And you, Lazel of Kalir, want to free the Forgotten Prince, do you not? I want nothing more. Then it is settled, is it not? A crown for a hammer. A bargain of a lifetime, Lazel of Kalir. I have craved it ever since the Archwizard Cassus created it long centuries ago and brought doom to the Empire of Netheril. That was the great age of humanity, and Netheril's flying sky cities were the apex of civilization. I was there the day it all fell apart. Entire cities plummeted from the sky like angels with broken wings. The screams, oh, the screams. Hundreds of thousands of people watching in horror as the ground came up to meet them. <laughs> it was not a happy meeting. And Cassus was responsible. Not driven by malice, but by ambition. He forged a crown imbued with all the powers of magic. A crown that would make any who wore it a god. Men cannot contain so much power. The crown destroyed its creator, and his empire fell with him. Cassus's folly, the bards and scholars call it. I call it hope. The hope of creating a better world and the perils of unchecked hubris. I knew then that the folly of mortals could be the triumph of devils, and that I could use that crown to unite the Nine under one Archdevil Supreme, me. <laughs> Zariel wouldn't like that much. But even I'm not so desperate to spite her, I'd put the Hells in this bastard's hands. I am no mortal! And I do not fail. The archdevil Mephistopheles snatched up the crown and squirreled it away in one of his vaults. He is not more than a frigid archivist. So much power and potential kept inert. He made a miracle into a museum piece. I raged. But only for a decade or so. Then I waited ever watching for more than a thousand years for a mistake, a mishap, a misadventure. And these chosen, who have caused you so much trouble accidentally, did me a favor. They brought the crown back into play. Yes, it does. 
Especially when I see what a bloody mess they've made of their whole scheme. They must have raided Mephistopheles' vault. Impressive, I must admit. But they'll be dead soon. If you don't kill them, the Elder Brain will. It doesn't have feelings in the way you'd understand them. <laughs> but it seems rather angry. It is inevitable. When you destroy the brain, and you will because you must, the crown will be yours for the taking. And when that moment comes, you give the crown to me. In exchange, I give you the hammer now. A simple transaction, it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flare in your head. Take Raphael's deal and you could free Orpheus. With Orpheus free, you would have no need to rely on the Emperor. But there's no guarantee that Orpheus would be on your side. And if you take the deal, you'll have to fulfill it. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. He claims his ambition is to unite the Hells, but can he be trusted to stop there? Do you trust him more than you trust the Emperor? Skvar! We should do as the devil asks. The Prince of the Comet must rise again. I won't stop you, but time is running out, so don't stay away for long. If you see reason, I'll be here, waiting, right up to the moment the world ends. was within our grasp, and you refused it. Why? Chuk. I wanted to follow the open valley, the easy way out. You chose the bramble path. I'm annoyed by it, and I admire you for it. We must speak with Voss. Then we find our way to Raphael's House of Hope. We'll take the Orphic Hammer and use it to smash the true heir's bonds. Yisk Githkar Tafki crash it. The Githyanki will be free. There you are. I thought I'd lost you. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. And I, you, it's concerning that something could come between us like that. Especially when we are so close to the Elder Brain. Do you have any idea what it was?
Raphael. Well, thank you for your honesty. Of course, I should have known the devil would come sniffing. The stench of impending chaos is irresistible to them. And what did he want with you? Giving a devil what he wants sounds like a brilliant idea. And what did he offer you in return for bringing it to him? I am glad you had the sense to turn him down, but it certainly does matter. Anything that threatens our alliance threatens our chances of defeating the Elder Boy. So I ask you again, what were the terms of the deal he offered you? A horrendous deal. Imagine the crown of sufficient power to dominate an elder brain atop a devil's head. You would be trading one apocalyptic event for another. Thank you for telling me, and for rejecting him. And now, we must be doubly on our guard. The devil is like a cockroach. No matter what you do to it, it will always come back. I doubt this will be the last time you are approached. I trust that you will continue to remember who is really on your side. Without my protection, you cannot defeat the Elder Brain. You cannot even get close to it, no matter what the devil whispers in your ear. Friend to the Comet. Lazel of Kalir, warrior of warriors. Tell me you took the Devil's deal. Tell me you will free Gith's heir.
Gaketh. Orpheus will be free. There is no cost too high to unshackle my people. I did not come this far for you to turn your back on the First Mother's son. Gith cards have come crashed. You put your trust in me, Voss. I plan to honor it. Yes, and it seems I have no choice but to trust. There is but one prism, and you are its key. Find a way to retrieve the hammer and free Orpheus from the prism. I will assemble his remaining honor guard and plan our next actions. Together, we will yet free the true heir of Gith's blessed empire. He will free us from Vlakith and lead our Kithraki against the Geich. Iztik, I will wait in the underground. Seek me when you have the hammer in hand. The Prince of the Comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Geich. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name. But he will see reason. I promise you. The devil of Raphael's stature does not simply make camp on the shores of the Styx. He will have made a sanctuary for himself, a lavish one too, one that caters to his many vices. The House of Hope. We must find a way in. The House of Hope, you say? I couldn't ask for a name more fitting. Every house has an entrance, Istik. Even those in the Hells. You must find it. You are wasting your time, and mine. Our true enemy is the Elder Brain. Focus your mind there. If I was a shower and lookout, this is the sort of place I'd wait around. Young lady, shadow heart, a word. I just lost a wager, thanks to you. Who are you? Someone who bet that you'd never be foolish enough to actually show your face in this city again. But here you are. And the gold in my purse is soon to take flight. been whispers about you, sister. About your faith, your loyalty, your company. I can't help but feel the strangest twinge of disgust as I look upon you. Is it true? Has our lady forsaken you?
I know the truth. I know my parents still live. Tell me where they are, and I have no quarrel with you. I'm afraid the quarrel is unavoidable, thanks to you. Now I must report your reappearance. If you are intent on bringing matters to a head, then seek out the House of Grief in the Lower City. Though, if I was you, I'd be very tempted to just forget it all and disappear. You have some form of doing so, after all. That's an order. Why don't you protect us instead of these scruffy outlanders? I'm not paid to debate with civilians. No, we pay taxes for you to protect us, not these intruders! I'm paid to take down troublemakers, so don't make trouble. Headline. Fascinating. <clears throat> Footprints leading right into that cave. <laughs> 